No one's getting saved today! Alright, this one is called... 1111. A uh, quick precursor or warning. This is not a traditional game. It is more of an interactive story. Uh, in fact, it's six interactive stories that kind of intertwine with each other. Uh, and you unlock the ability to see the other stories by playing through and the characters uh, see each other, interact, and then that unlocks the ability to then track that one. Uh, I'll play the prologue here just so you can see the story and I'll play through the first hero or character rather because uh, it gives you kind of a, an overview of how the game's going to go. He also is the one you have to w watch first before doing anything else, so I don't want to give any spoilers in case someone is interested in this. So we'll just do the prologue here, set the backstory. I probably won't be talking much, so good for you on this one. Sci-fi joint. For as long as can be remembered, the island planet of Kyrosilnea has been at war. For millennia, the scattered races fought over color and creed. But as populations rose and resources became scarce, the richest nations began claiming the poorest as their own. Their citizens were either killed in battle or forced into refuge, while defense corporations were made rich by fueling the bloodshed. Then, when there were no more wars to wage, the world's largest defense corp, Realtek, decided that money wasn't enough. They wanted control. Realtek amassed an army and equipped them with weaponry never seen before. The mercenaries tortured the nations of Kairos into submission, and the first age of corporate rule began. But after years of tyranny, a resistance rose from the ashes. The people of Kairos united. Enemies became allies. And for the first time in history, they fought as one. Now, with an entire world against them, Realtek has resolved to take drastic measures. They have devised a plan that will see all life on Kairos burnt to dust. Purging the rebels for good, while they watch safely from a floating ark in the sky. The last transport to this ark will launch in 11 minutes and 11 seconds, just before oblivion is unleashed on the planet. Those who can find a way on board will survive. For the rest, time is about to end. So there's your backstory. Um, like I said, when you first start, you don't get any of these options. You just get Miro, who we're going to watch. Um, you don't even really get all the control options that I'm going to have uh, until after you watch it one time through. And then they'll go through the tutorial to kind of show you how you can control time and all that. So. I see the Shiro Hour. It's getting ready to take off. I see it too. We need to hurry. Keep your voice down. We're not welcome here. Let's go. Mom. Now, <laughs> pause in the action here. I can move around right now. Um, it is not possible the first time you watch. Uh, you can kind of change the angle a little bit by using a snap turn. Um, but other than that, you, you just kind of have to watch things play out. Now, after you watch it that first time, then you have all these controls unlocked. You can also, um, as I said, move around, snap left and right. Uh, you can rewind time, fast Mom, forward time. And um, you can also teleport like this. 
and you can see this guy right here he's one of the playable characters so if you wanted to then just jump onto him and check out his story you could do so the launch pad in time and start playing that i'm not going to again because again uh i don't want any spoilers here i'm going to stick with miro the whole time uh but also you have the ability to now rewind time kind of float about if you press the a and what um uh, x and y button sorry left left hand both of them together you get kind of like a higher view of what's going on and then you can also float around the city if you go all the way up and then you can kind of jump to any of the characters from here it'll tell you which ones are where and you can kind of do that so um, try not to fall over here um, so yeah it's, it's it's pretty cool again it's not a it's not a traditional game you're, you're not actually taking control of any of these characters you're not uh, going for a high score or anything like that but uh, it's probably the most interactive story I've played in VR and uh, just seeing the beginning in this first uh, character story I, I want to see the other ones so uh, Definitely worth taking a look here. So we'll just kind of focus on Miro and let things play out. But if we don't, will it hurt? No, not for long. This place is huge. How do we know where we're supposed to go? Your father set everything up. We just need to follow Hux. I just hope this thing still knows where it's going. System error. Er 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 Unable to comply. Come on, Hux. What is it now? Attempting system reboot. Please stand by. Yeah. Don't go too far. <gasps> go. Go now. Warning. Proximal threat detected. What is it, Miro? Who's out there? N no one. Caution. Nine minutes until transport departure. Mira, we need to move. Follow me. There is someone you need to meet. So I'm trying to go faster. I'll pause, see if I can't get it down right here to where he is. Yeah, okay. All right. Here we go. Way on. kind of creep along here I feel like there's got to be a way to lock on to him because here we go I see you got Hux Thank you for doing this. I know how much this has cost you. Did that? There's a local hurt. border nearby. Hmm. Range is short, but it will get you halfway up the wall. Synthetics I'm don't the feel. Protocol to hmm. If you can get to the top, Argo One will be waiting. Nine minutes. We'll expect payment, but he can get you on board the ship. Thank you. For no time for thank yous. Nestor set everything up. Now grab your boy and hurry. Go. Miro, stay with me. Ah, so this works better. Warning, my standards are malfunctioning. Proceed with There's the a lift. We can take it up to the top. What is wrong with this thing? Secondary systems offline. Hux, see what you can do. Miro, do you see another terminal? I think I see it. Come on, start. It must be my lucky day. You... you did this? You're a long way from home, Speck! I don't have a home. Miro! Not anymore. Get away from him! Fan Specs. Please, we don't want any trouble. You asked. For trouble. You came into my country uninvited! There are no countries. When the bombs fall, they won't tell us apart. They're gonna kill you and me, 
Just the same. You, you two aren't gonna live to see the bombs, Speck! No one's getting saved today! Nero, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait! Mom! You're I'll hurt! Be fine. Let's move. Here we go. We're going to make it. My name is Joseph Grester. I'm a scholar at the Prioran Institute of Learning. Mom, can we listen to Dad's message again? Hugs, play Archive 6. Playing Archive 6. Melina, the rumors are true. Real tech are building us our bombs. Much bigger than what they used to wipe out the Grand Rock. We managed to upload images, but was made. You'll find me soon. Mira, your mom will always fight for you. Make sure you fight for her. Remember, family is everything. I love you so Playing Archive 9. Elena, this is my last No, Hux, close Archive. I'm sorry, Elena. My system is failing. Detected. So I'm just gonna stay in the default mode here. Guys, Mom, give him a chance. Hux, can you make contact? Argo One, this is Barnabas. We are in position. He's not coming. We've got to try something else. Mom, Dad said the soldier would be here. He'll be here. Hux, try again. Argo One, do you copy? The ships are starting to launch. We're almost out of time. Miro, we don't have a choice. We have to... Argo One? Yes. Who sent you? She... She said you could provide safe passage. I can. For a price. Imminent threat, threat identified. Oh, Imminent so threat please, identified. Be quiet. Imminent threat us. identified. Samox. Uncut. It will help with the long days in orbit. Good. Come with me. Leave the boy. What? No. You want to get on that ship? You're going to have to trust me. I'm not going anywhere without him. He will be safe. But we need to hurry. <sighs> okay. Mira, stay here. Mom, no! Miro, just stay with Huck. We're getting on that ship. Hux, play Archive 6. Playing Archive 9. No, Hux. Archive 6. Pl playing Archive... No. Alina, this is my last message. Make sure you're alone. I'm sorry I didn't make it back to you. But as long as you and our children survive, this fight was worth it. I know you will guide Miro and our little girl inside you <gasps> to safety. Little girl? It breaks me that I'll never meet our daughter. But I know you will raise her to be a strong, kind woman. Her mother. You should tell him soon that he's going to be a brother to Elora. Name her that for me. I love you, Elena. You and Miro brought light to a dark world. Imminent threat identified. Imminent threat identified. Hux, there's no one here. Imminent threat identified. His glitching is dangerous. Imminent we threat identified. Him. But Mom! It's a machine. They mean nothing to you. And we have to go. 
Goodbye, Hux. Where did the soldier go? Doesn't matter. Now let's go. Mom, your leg! Stragglers here. Mother and a child. We only have two births left, and one of them is for you. I cannot leave them here. Maslow, remember, the Ark is monitoring heartbeats. We only have room for two more souls. Any more than that, and they'll shoot us out of the sky before we even dock. I... I... I'm sorry. Now pick one, or leave them both behind. But either way, get on board! If you leave us here, you're just like them. Wait! If you can't take all of us, at least let her go. Please! I made a promise to fight for my family. Wouldn't you fight for yours? I am staying. You both can go. We're going to be a part of rebuilding this world. Do not make the same mistakes we did. No! I have to stay. My mom needs to go. It's okay, child. There's room for both of you. You don't understand. My mom has two heartbeats. She's pregnant. With my little sister, Alora. When she is old enough, make sure you tell Alora what your brother did for her today. I love you, Mom. Now go! Okay, so all the camera issues aside, um, I'll, I'll take half the blame for that. The, obviously, the controls are not 100% intuitive. Um, I think once you just, uh, first of all, to move around quickly, it's easier to use the teleport, which is the left trigger. And probably what you're better off doing is rather than exploring is just sticking with the character. However, um, you do have the ability, like there at the end, I could have gone in to see what happened to the mom because obviously she was different when she came out of that little room than when she went in uh, as far as her leg and her demeanor and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play through this. I'm going to at least play through all the stories and maybe take some little side paths and stuff like that on the other ones. Um, but again, normally uh, the experiences aren't my, aren't my jam, but this one... Uh, I like what they've shown so far, and I think it's got a lot of promise. And uh, there'll be at least one or two of these six good stories, I think. And, you know, 11 minutes each, you're looking at about uh, 77, 67, 66, something minutes. Uh, once you get through it all, so it shouldn't take more than a couple hours. Um, but I would definitely suggest 1111 if you are looking for an interactive story to uh, to check it out.